And I really do appreciate you being such a big fan. Trust me, if I was with you right now, I'd be making your cooter really sloppy. Anyway, happy 88th birthday, Doris. Daddy hopes he can meet you soon. My lady. What? Oh, hi. I didn't even notice. I was just doing a cameo. What a fine gift to give around the summertime and summertime holiday season. People love them. Gets cooler, sloppier than anything I ever see. Hey, hey, hey Chippy, I have a what? cameo too. Cameo.com slash Jim Norton. All right, all right. Fuck, get rid of them. Fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. Cameo.com slash Chip Chipperson. Hey, 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 what's up, party people? Let's go! You just need to turn the volume up. Ooh. I've done that. Oh once. my god! I think she's <laughs> making light of me. I think she's making light of my advanced age and the fact that I don't know what a volume knob is. <laughs> Great news! The stupid Pekka sucker finally learned how to fucking fix the volume. <laughs> oh. oh, so you have your volume, Jim? I yes, mean, I Jim. Do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, please. Don't mix me up with that fucking fat fruit. Drives me crazy. I would never. I would never. All right, listen, before we start, we got to pay a couple of bills, and I'm really happy to talk about these things. I'm sorry there's a shadow on Daddy's face. Listen. Hopefully it's don't... death. What? Yeah. <laughs> the <Arm> Reaper? <laughs> um, uh... <laughs> Uh, uh, that foreshadowing. That's yeah, yeah. Foreshadowing death, yeah. All right, listen. Finicky engines and clog sinks and whatnot. What do you do when things break around the house? I mean, personally, I just move, but a lot of people fix them. Well, how come when your pecker is broken, you don't do anything about it? What are you waiting for? Take care of it already. Go to getroman.com slash chip. Now for $15 off your first month. You stupid, worthless pecker. There's hope for it yet. That's getroman.com slash chip for $15 for your first month. Oh, wait. Let's fix that. $15 off your first month. Daddy's eyes are going. Aw. You have those glasses on, though, Chip. Get Roman, it's for your P.E.K.K.A. We're going to do a read. This is a pre-roll, but believe me, it helps your P.E.K.K.A. Too bad I can't put it in my eyes and make them any better. <laughs> but you know what I can I'm do? I'm sure you have. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see so well. <laughs> After I tug my fucking P.E.K.K.A., right, I like to lay on some bowl and branch sheets. Experience uncompromising comfort with the best-selling 100% oh, organic yeah. cotton signature hemmed sheets. One time this girl was over, right? And I'm going down on her and she's coming buckets. Ooh. And she goes, Jesus, I'm ruining your signature hem sheets. I said, babe, bowl and branch is all comfortable and whatnot. Anyway, they're designed and manufactured for maximum comfort, which is all that matters. No middlemen between you and bowl and branch. You get luxury quality at the fairest price. 15% off your first set of sheets with the promo code CHIP. Buy yourself, Anthony, get yourself a nice white set. You can maybe make a little hat out of it. <laughs> B-O-L-L and branch.com. Promo code CHIP, 15% off your first set of sheets. That's the pre-roll. Now we start with the amusement. Carl. Tell me what's been going on. Besides the fact that Norton saw a picture of himself tonight and he wants to jump off the balcony because oh, he no. is indeed a fat the piggy boy. Oh, you no. sing the song for Colin. What's that now? Fat the piggy boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You gotta sing. You gotta sing the song fat the for piggy Colin. Fat the piggy boy, fat the piggy boy, a little Jimmy Norton is a fat the piggy boy. <laughs> okay. You see how much weight Norton put on? Oh. It's disgusting. No. No, he looks nice. For what? Yeah. He looks nice for a fucking a punching bag or a weeble. For somebody that you might fuck, he doesn't weeble look wobble? good. 
everyone fluctuates. And, and, and by the way, you'll never fluctuate to the point where like piggy boy, I'm just going to pick out a, somebody I know, Jim Norton, let's say, get, let's say in, Jim in the old days, you'll never get that to that level. You should but see the, you, you got to give yourself some freedom, man. Have some fun. He you did don't for a year. Freedom. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Carl, what do you think? It was a pandemic. It was a pandemic, but now it's not. Well, now I, it's a uh, damn panic. I went on stage at the cellar after Jim Norton tonight, and my opening line was, I'm glad you people get to see me after that fat slob. Oh, Good for my you. God. <laughs> this is not helpful, Colin Quinn. <laughs> and then they, turned, they turned on me, though. <laughs> I'm glad, and well, they should. <laughs> oh, you should have seen fucking old piggy tits run over to the uh -oh. stand. Because not oh. only is Norton fat, but he's not doing well on stage. All for two, fat and unfunny. Stop it. I no. can't imagine that. I don't know what you're seeing or what you're saying. I, I can't imagine that. Oh. Jimmy is a very funny motherfucker. I love watching him up on stage. Stop he's it. He's a fucking blimp. Makes me sick. Oh my God. I'm glad you said that. Say that every show. <laughs> every show. How about a hand for Fit the Piggy Boy? <laughs> fit the Piggy Boy. What, Carl? Are we sorry. To know? Okay. I said the crowd turned on me for saying that. Why? Probably because they felt sorry for him. If he was they skinny, they would have laughed. You're punching yeah. down, Carl. I really had to uh, dig my way out of a hole after that one. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hear it. I, Norton didn't hear it either, or he would have told me. <laughs> <laughs> he would have told me if you heard it. And I didn't hear it either from him or anybody else. Oh, how is the comedy doing? Like, it's back. Uh, people are showing up at the clubs. Comics oh, yeah. are able to be there. No more masks or anything, I nope. guess. Is, uh, is, it, is it fun to get back on stage, especially Colin? Because I know Colin, originally you were like, I can't be happier. Yep. then we aren't we don't have to get up on stage every night you kind of liked it yeah i mean i still kind of like the idea of shutting uh being a shut-in i mean if we, if covid i'm hoping the delta variant makes a nice <laughs> you like the delta variant. <laughs> wait okay the delta variant i, I, I mean uh where are they flying to oh God damn it, babe. that's what i was gonna <laughs> oh. say but i, oh, I had a sorry, better Jeff. one Oh, let's hear yours. It's going to be better. I, someone goes, where's the Delta variant? And I go, uh, uh, what's that airport? Uh, are you on a Czech LaGuardia airport? Way it's better an airport, chip. all right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the Delta variant. So I said the Delta variant. I, I wish what? you were, I wish you were at LaGuardia when the Croatian uh, Liberation Army of 1976. Oh, oh my God. You're what happened kidding. there? Did they like, did they worship somebody who was funny? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going that far back. <laughs> what happened? Because I, I don't want to look stupid on my own. We have to cut this oh, part. It's, you know, terrorist thing happened. Oh, they okay. Bombed. They bombed one of the terminals. And they they bombed. Them. Yeah, yeah. They bombed. Oh, did they really? They must <laughs> have like run through the, the cellar tonight while Norton was on. <laughs> No, oh, I can't death. even believe that. I'm not going to take your word for it. Trust I'm going to ask me. Jimmy. There was a guy right up front wearing my fucking shirt, too. Right. Wow. He was laughing. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, see? He I, didn't I do stood that in the bad. back and I checked it out. I was watching and shit, you know. Should You should have made an appearance, made everybody laugh, Chip. Nah, because after stupid sulked off stage and fucking Blubber walked up West Third Street, I'm like, what am I going to do? After fucking Blubber tits wearing the same shirt three days in a row because he's too fat for his other clothes. So, You're so it, mean to poor Jeff. Oh, it's the truth. Me, this makes me so I, I only fit two pairs of my pants. And the, the second one that I fit, I popped the button today, so I had to take it down. <laughs> Oh my God, who pops buttons these days? I they were like titanium. How much you put on during the pandemic, Carl? About 20. Yeah. Oh, Carl. Yup. Can't even tell. Are you, are you, are you working out? Yeah. yeah, it's not working out. <laughs> 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 no, but it's not working out because 
he's he, no, but he was saying that as a joke. He was saying oh. like it ain't it ain't panning out kind of the way he had God. planned. I took it literally and didn't no. see the joke in it. Chip, no. thank you, thank you. For, yeah, no, uh, I understand. So, how has comedy been? Because I'm gonna go up there and do a little comedy myself. What's that now? You mean you how's the comedy thing? Anthony already asked. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna take his out, leave the host question in. Was comedy been good for you? Oh, I think people are really just excited to get back outside after being in for a year. What's your opening joke? In your ear. <laughs> It sounds like you're saying <laughs> up the asshole or something. Got to hey, watch wait. it with that. Who are you, Chekhov and Ratha Khan? Chekhov. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, a check off. Paper of lists. You like to check off. That's when what I was going to say. Yeah. When I go yes. Oh. I, oh, no, I don't look at not. easy as stuff. How did it turn to my stuff so quick? Because he said pornography. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I see. Oh, my God. I got to tell you, Zia, I've seen some pictures. You're I, so I, nice, Sam. I've subscribed to you, my fa only fans. My and, fans. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's my fans. Yes, my fans. I, I subscribe to only fins and it's dolphins and killer whales. Or $5 bills. <laughs> A fin! I get it. A fin note. Or well, guys that are dating Meadow Soprano. <laughs> I get that, that one guy. now. <laughs> oh, but Zia, oh my God, what attractive uh, photos uh, you put on there. Thanks, Anthony. Amazing. That's so nice. Nick takes them all. He does a good job, too. Yeah, Who but you're not all? taking my suggestions. I had some good ideas, Carl. She wouldn't do them. Fun okay. ideas. Like... Well, I said, I want you to go out to a like, garden and take a video. I said, you ought to videotape yourself shitting in a bucket out in the garden. It'll be hilarious <laughs> and cute <laughs> taking a shit in a bucket. A yep, I'm sure there's an audience for that. Terrible. A lot of people don't find that very erotic, Chip. <laughs> no, but it's the idea that tomato plants are behind us. She's got her hands on the lettuce for leverage. If you've been in the trades for years, you might like it because you relate to it. <laughs> Shitting in a spackle bucket. <laughs> but but like, I can't imagine seeing it. Like, there are probably 80 billion things you could do that's sexier than... Shitting in a spackle bucket, Chip. Yeah. That was just one I gave her. How about another one I told you to do is go bowling. Like you put on like a prom dress and you go bowling. And as you're bowling a strike, you look over your shoulder with your fingers like this. In my in my prom <laughs> dress with do? a bowling ball? <laughs> yeah, you're bowling a strike and you're looking over your shoulder like, oh, you caught me. That might actually be kind of hot. Yeah, yeah and a could, nice prom I, dress. You know what? You're right. I was thinking of that and going, eh. I can't imagine a prom date though taking you to bowling. I never That's went a to little... prom, so maybe this will be my oh, my little prom recreation. What a great they thing! Prom in Hawaii. <laughs> they no. did have a prom, but I no. found out it was it's they had it on luau. <laughs> yeah, we emu a pig and everything. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> we have, we have po uh, Pass the fire point. Dancers. <laughs> No, they had it on the other side of the island. It was a two-hour drive, and we had to catch the bus. We weren't allowed to drive ourselves there. How is like, there an other that. side of an island? There's two sides. They're all sides. <laughs> That's just a good point. <laughs> were, you, were you from the good side of the island or of the course. other side of the island? No, we're from the good side. Kona sucks. Careful. You're going to get whacked. <laughs> oh. Just like Tony did. Yeah. Oh, I don't spurl it. It has been on for quite a while, Chip. Was that in the first season? <laughs> no, Sixth. it wasn't. My favorite, let me just tell you something. Speaking of Finn, when Vito, the way Vito approached him was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my in, life. In the, in the porta potty? The way he got in it, yes. The way he got in his face, he goes, you're going. And I legitimately. Meet me I by the bat. I legitimately couldn't tell if he was going to kill him or try to come on to him. He didn't know. <laughs> he goes, I don't know if he wants to kill me or fuck me. That's what he said. It was amazing. So Yo, yeah. but the, Vito, is, 
Remember he, Vito was sucking a pecker and oh hi. You know, he was. The, you you knew like right before he was exposed, he was sitting with the little rotating battery fan, and he's like, <laughs> it's your like first you knew, like yeah, it's a little fruity for a monster. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. A fat pecker kisser. <laughs> hmm, who does that remind us of? Oh. <laughs> Who does that remind yeah. us of? Stop We're this it. episode. No, this episode. Hey, there's Uncle fucking uh, Uncle Jerry in the back. He was the best. Uncle June? Oh, Jerry, it's June. <laughs> oh. Junior. Gonna get whacked. Oh. No, he actually lived to the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's one of the few that kind of made it, you know. Kind of, yeah. He didn't have his mind left, but oh. he What did it. he say when he shot him? Got Salamaranga. Is that what he said? He like ran into the closet, and was like whimpering. Oh, another th another was, familiar uh, tone. He thought it was little little pussy Moringa, and uh, yeah, he shot him because he was. It was the money he thought he owed him money from the Bohack heist. <laughs> the Bohack heist. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had a Bohack two blocks from my house my whole life. We all did. Uh, when when I, we all went to Bohacks as kids, maybe not you, Zia. What no, is what it? is you it? You went to the, the Hawaiian version of Bohacks. I don't know what that is. Just full of pineapples. Just went to but the we, beach, I guess. We, we, we went to Bo And when he said that, it's like, it's part of the Bohack caper, the heist. I, I'm like, oh, my God, I had a Bohack on Larkfield Road in uh, yeah. East Northport. What is a Bohack? Boak was a shopping center. It was a supermarket, like Wallbounds and Vons and yeah. uh, Safeway and Ralph's. Yeah, yeah. I met okay. a girl, King Cullen. King Cullen was another one. Yeah. Fucking King Cullen. Wait, how about Prince Cullen? Just no, go. Run with it, it Chip. <laughs> Run it. with it. All right. I walked in there. I just say, it I'm not going to kid you. I said, hey, are you the queen married to the... Uh, uh, the the king uh king, king Cullen, Cullen I said fuck yeah and she laughed you know she knew it was a oh, good one oh of course <laughs> and uh, we went out for supper what'd you have my name's Cullen Chip and you're a hack so <laughs> Bo hack no King Cullen I <laughs> get it. I'm putting it all together here, Quinn. Dude, I fucking walked up to her and I was like, so, uh, are you the queen of the king, uh, Colin? And she really got a kick out of it. I and uh, we went out for supper. What did you guys eat? I had potatoes. I like a nice burled potato. Burled yeah. potato. Yeah. I right. like to sprinkle pepper all around and then roll the potato in it and then just kind of eat it. Did she wince when you ordered that? <laughs> no, she was like, what are you getting? It's a sushi restaurant. I'm like, let me get a oh, brown potato. No. And the guy thought I was crazy. That's Can right. Wrap it in seaweed. <laughs> right there with Travis Bickle ordering the apple pie with cheese with a slice of cheese. <laughs> just slice it. <laughs> Did he really? Oh, you sociopathic <laughs> murderer. I've heard of that before. <laughs> what a great meal before you blow out some pimps' heads. <laughs> yeah. You should see that, Zia. You're dressed like Jodie Foster in that one. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I don't know if almost, that's a compliment. <laughs> you're almost as old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was young in that one. Oh, she, she was. was. She was really young. Jody she was Foster. a kid, right? Hey, you might, someone might think of shooting the president for that. <laughs> dude, dude. But, Fucking uh, Jeff Hinckley. He did shoot. Uh, Jeff he shot the president. Fucking President Brady shot him. President Brady. Brady. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Hinckley's playing Caroline's uh, this weekend, I think. <laughs> well, yeah, he a fucking, part of a bunch. You know what? His music is actually pretty good. Oh, right, right. He's blind, you know. No, I mean. Uh, that guy just died, Jeff Healy. He did, Jeff Healy, yes. Who's Jeff Healy? Couldn't heal himself, apparently. <laughs> uh, we all saw him in uh, uh, Roadhouse, oh, yeah. the movie Roadhouse. Oh. He was a guitar player, the blind guitar player. Oh, uh, maybe it wasn't huh. a guitar at all. Because that man's <laughs> name is Dalton. Dalton. I think that's Dalton. He's like, yeah, yeah. Hey, mijo. <laughs> How many times have you watched Roadhouse Call? I mean, probably 
you know, in bits and pieces, probably 15. Probably, right? I hear you. If it's on, I, I you know, you got to watch it. It's great. Nice day today, huh, Red? Was, was. By the way, Red is Red from Elvis's crew. Oh, yeah. that was Red West, his name is. He was Red West from Elvis's crew, and he's in that movie. All these years, you're like, Red West, Red West. Then you see him, you're like, Red West, that little nerd. That little fucker was hanging yeah. out with uh, the greatest fucking king, the king. Yo, well, do you ever hear boy. fucking... I was going to ask a question. Do you ever hear fucking nothing but a hound dog? No. Uh -huh. I think oh. we've... <laughs> I think we've all heard that <laughs> Who's Who sang it? <laughs> I think we've all heard... You ain't nothing but a hound dog Presley. by Elvis Presley. Yeah. I got to say, I don't think there's anyone on earth. Maybe. All right. Uh, I'll say over 15 years old that hasn't heard that. Maybe. My mother was a big Elvis fan. One time she was crying. I said, Mari, you checking into the Heartbreak Hotel? Nice. Nice, Chip. Yeah, it is a good one. She took the she took the wooden chair and she put it on my foot and she sat on it. Oh, yeah, God. she ripped the nail off my big toe. <laughs> oh no, that's God. Didn't hurt. those grow back? Yeah, it did. It kind of skidded off and hit the floor again, and my toenail came with it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> yeah, she was. She had the blues. So I was, if she was around today, I would pay OnlyFans to watch that. <laughs> A chip torture only. You can make a buck or two on OnlyFans. My on mother's a marvelous oh. woman. She would never do that. A saint, saint on earth. I think she's yeah. a good woman. Chip, Put it. I think Chip should do an OnlyFans where we watch him get abused and beaten. I would subscribe to that. <laughs> and you can oh, pay extra money oh, to come up with scenarios. Oh, of like how like, you want to see. Could you please <laughs> smack him in the face with a blackjack? Yeah. Or something, and it'd be like, yeah, okay. And then you ding, ding, ding. He gets hit in here. Ding, 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 ding. Like a bunch of <laughs> contributions coming in. And then you watch slowly as the black and blue starts to grow in his face. Yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> no, because I, I would get hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you don't like we don't that want part that of it, Chip. No. How about like me and a pretty girl just kind of fucking sit there and chilling and I teach a guy how to rap to her. Like maybe we're eating like my favorite date food is a good mac and cheese. I love a good mac and cheese. That's it's good. a romantic food. Just don't take a cab ride right after because it affects my my stomach gets spurled. Little lactose Immediately after? Yeah, yeah, literally. When we get into the cab, as soon as the door closes, you hear... <laughs> <laughs> oh god those are the worst oh, ones every time those are the worst ones yeah, yeah, one of the really... best ones if you're alone <laughs> yeah you know yes. come Rancid. on come you, on you know where you roll up the windows and <laughs> lock them Ooh. Ooh, i remember that oh, yeah my dad Why? used to do that when we were kids this you cut the cheese farts. a lot zia no my dad used to do it with his protein farts because he was always taking you know because he's a bodybuilder you know he was always taking the protein powder and his farts were the worst. And he oh, used to roll God. up the windows and lock them when he was driving us to school. That's not so nice. So terrible. That's abusive. He's a bodybuilder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh, a big boy. dude. <laughs> that's not a, that's not a problem. No, no. Do you have a date a girl whose father was a bodybuilder, Kali? That, no, no. I fucking went out with a girl one time. I'd pick her up, right? And a father's really a big guy. And he goes, you better treat my daughter nice. I said, simmer down, buckaroo. Wow. Wow. That's brave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, was at, he was in bed. They had a hospital bed in the living room. Wait. So he's in a hospital. Yeah. So why did you give a fuck? He couldn't do it anything. It was his daughter. Him. And he was passing away. He was very ill. <laughs> and he wanted to make it to a prom. Oh, God. He said, I just want to see my little girl go to the prom. Oh. Did you take her to prom, Chip? Was, I was late. Me? I showed up late. I had ran out of gasoline because I was riding around screaming the night before. I forgot to get <laughs> gas. And then I broke down and showed up two hours late and he passed away. Oh, God. But it'd be great if you just showed up at the house 
and made her give you oral copulation and he's just wheezing like long shanks and fucking braveheart <laughs> do you think he would have laughed <laughs> yeah yeah she's he's just like <sighs> and you're just like yeah you want to see this right oh uh, she was she was yeah. sore as a mug at me yeah yeah, because he passed away. I pulled up. I was two hours and six minutes late, and the fucking ambulance was there. And she said he died 40 minutes ago. I was oh, like, my God. So it was before the prom? Yeah, I was going to. And plus, I had to go to a gas station, get her a corsage. And, uh, a gas station? Best place to get one. I forgot a sure. corsage, babe. But she said yeah. that was her dream to get it pinned on before her father died. And you did not fulfill that dream, Chip. No, I overslept, <laughs> and then I ran out of gas. Oh. Is it because you had such comfortable sheets? That's right. Oh, you know what, babe? It's funny <laughs> it to say that. It all comes together. <laughs> yeah. You're amazing. Listen, babe, little things we all do, they add up. Okay? The most important thing you can do is sleep comfortably. Carl, mm-hmm. let me ask you a question. Oh. Do you, are you you're a comfortable sleeper? Am I comfortable? Like, listen, do you have good sheets? Do you sleep comfortably? Well, last night, I actually had a sleep apnea attack, and I thought I was going to die. No. You got to get a machine. Forbid. God forbid. Yeah, but you got to be comfortable. You got to get an apnea I... machine. Carl just goes, yeah, what the fuck ever. Do That's you have... terrible, Colin. No, do something. But we if you're going to die, in. at least die on bowl and branch sheets. Oh you might as well go God. comfortable. I know. He's I telling you what sheets to die on. This is terrible. Imagine being yeah, wrapped up. I actually told him, I said, when I die and you put a sheet over my head, please make it a bowl and branch sheet. Yeah, that's the best way to go. You're going to go off to the eternal resting place in oh, comfort. I have bowling branches. Even their copy was brilliant when the guy goes, our sheets are built for maximum comfort. It's like, wow, that's so distinctive. <laughs> <laughs> most, sheet, most sheet companies are trying to be as scratchy and... Uh, Hey, some yeah. are, some are. Yeah, but Carl is right though, <laughs> because the copy is really good. Because it was another another um, she caught me. I'm not gonna say which one, but the company company was selling Cotney. sheets. It wasn't ball and branch, but that copy was no good. They said it's like getting yourself nice and wet and sleeping on hay, <laughs> and I said nobody's gonna enjoy that. Oh. Fucking hay is gonna be poking you. Bowl and branch, maximum comfort. Maximum comfort. They really stand out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they really do. The hay They're one not didn't like sell the 1800s. any. Hundreds. <laughs> I like that. Hay. By the way, if you want hey, to experience entirely new standard of comfort, go to bowlandbranch.com. Now you might not know how to spell it. B O L L A N D branch. Bowlandbranch.com. Oh, 15% off your first set of sheets with the promo code CHIP. B O L L M branch.com. 15% off your first set of sheets, promo code CHIP. Now I'm telling you, Carl, you might have some apnea. I wouldn't even fuck around away, go with the doctor. What you oh. got to do is just sleep on your side or put a wallet in your mouth so you don't choke on wallet. your tongue. A wallet? A wallet? Is yep. wallet a code word for cock? <laughs> No, because I didn't say sit on it. <laughs> I do cryptocurrency instead of the... Yeah, it's, a, it's cryptocurrency. <laughs> no, but you put the wallet in your mouth, right? And you stretch oh, okay. out on your bowl and branch sheets, and you're going to look over to your lovely lady and go, babe, all kidding aside, how comfortable are we? I got the tan color. I have a I have a light blue color bowling brand sheets. They're so oh. soft. I love to oh, I love to get a nice. It needed your money. Ow! Oh. Oh, Babe, I was gonna get the light blue ones. Tell me what they're like for Pete's oh. sake. They're so soft and comfortable. I like to to do like a fresh shave. You know, like you guys are guys, so you don't get this. But Where? for girls, you you shave Where? your legs. Where? Your your legs, Chip, Where? and your armpits. You know, That's you gotta nice shave them pits. <laughs> Shave all the areas. What do you do with the hairs when you're done? You oh. save them. Oh, I just, uh, I've never uh, like sprinkles on ice cream, like a Carvel. 
You know what? <laughs> One time this girl I was dating, Hair she pie. shaved her pits and she had like long pigtail hairs. Fucking ate them all and told her I loved her. Did How'd that work out? Chick? What? <laughs> she was grodied out. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hate that word so much. Yeah, she said that. She goes, you're grody. Oh, God. I said, babe, Imagine. I love you. That's my moist. Ugh. Wow. Yeah. Nice and shaved is sexy, babe, which takes us to our next read. Now, Kyle, you were asking about Roman. It's for erection difficulties. A lot of guys, peckers don't work, and they don't know what to do. I'm sure you've had that a couple hundred times in your life. Absolutely. Listen, U.S. licensed healthcare professional, they're going to work with you, Carl, to find the best treatment plan. Now, if medication's appropriate, I'll they're going to fuck you. What's that? I'll see what I do. What? Whenever I have an erection difficulty, I tie a bowling brand sheet around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That would Watching you do that would make mine stand oh, up. Apparently not long <laughs> enough. <laughs> 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 okay, but anyone who doesn't have sheets and doesn't want to maybe hang yourself like David Carradine, <laughs> you can always uh, get Roman.com slash chip because your pecker's embarrassing you. Zia, you've been with a bunch of guys that couldn't keep it up. What do you do? Jesus. That's no reflection <laughs> on her. She just probably meets these gaming nerds and they're all intimidated. Yeah. And they're like, my pecker's not working. Uh, it happens they, they sometimes. They hit A. They're like, <laughs> oh, I need, oh, why is it an ooh, A, A. <laughs> game like that where you can yeah. i think it's called house party and you can you can take <laughs> your dick out and just start jerking off in the game oh, oh they, trigger yeah. trigger I why is it called house party because you go to a house party it's i'm yeah. pretty sure this is what it's called you go to a party oh. and you can like talk to people and try to get girls to sleep with you or you can just take your dick out and finish right there in the middle of the room right but imagine wow. if he was a limper how and embarrassing right, exactly. that is. Couldn't do that at a party with no, no erection. Why do Gotta have an it? erection. Why is, it Roman? is it like a Roman candle? <clears throat> no, it's just Roman. Probably because you're roaming around looking for something to jump in front of when you're pecking over. <laughs> oh, he's thinking work. Roman like apostrophe without the G, like Roman and not Roman like a, you know, the war. R O M A N. That's a good Man. question, Carl. It's because what happens is you're running around like a little limper, and then Roman, Romans are firm, Romans are warriors. Exactly. Yeah, Pekka's going to be hard like a sword, but you got to run around on a chariot. Like yeah. Augustus Caesar or something. Yes. <laughs> yep. Augustus Caesar. <laughs> or Caligula, if you're Anthony, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Go to getroman.com slash chip now. $15 off your first month. Wow. It really is time to take care of your stupid erection problems with Roman. Remember, you get started today. You save $15 on your first order of ED treatment. That's getroman.com slash chip. You get $15 off your first month. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. Take it from a, a lady. Just don't want like to be they let down. taught me in radio school. <laughs> yep, that's what, <laughs> what it a, is. What a read. <laughs> Incorporate your personal experience. Yeah. Call him, Carl. Use the promo code. Help daddy out. Oh, Carl, why didn't you come over for dessert when me and Jim Norton had uh, dinner the other night? Yeah, good question. What happened? We went to a nice steakhouse, yep. me and Jim yeah. Norton. Chip, you probably mm -hmm. heard from Jim about this. And yeah. then uh, Jim literally punched a waiter in the face to get us a better table <laughs> for the addition of another person. That's who right. Was supposed to be Colin Quinn, who never showed up no. for dessert and espresso. Never yeah. showed up. It and was I was disrespect. It was, was gonna, disrespectful. I was going to chisel a steak, not just dessert. But. Um, no, because the show, Village Underground, ran late. I didn't get done until it was almost 10 o'clock. Yeah, we were probably, uh, I mean, you and yeah. him were probably finished. Oh, yeah, we were gone by then. <laughs> no, here's what happened. <laughs> fucking, the, the lousy waitress sat them down at a fucking place. 
And Norton said we might be having a third person. She didn't want to hear it. This Nor- was the greatest thing I ever saw. Jim Norton is amongst the most despicable people I've ever known in my life. He goes, he goes to the the the, the woman comes over and seats us at a little fucking table. Little table. And Jim's like, Hey, I think, you know, a third person's gonna join us for dessert. Maybe he could give us a bigger table. Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, have that there. And he goes, she fucking, she, he, he had a vendetta against her. A vendetta! Well, I heard he, he said to her. Knew. She wouldn't give it to, she fucking on purpose, she did that. So he tells the waiter when he comes over, oh yeah, by the way, we would have liked a bit of table, but you fucking wait, she's a fucking piece of shit. And the waiter's now <laughs> petrified about his tip. So he's like, I better go. He gives us a fucking sprawling, a sprawling table. It was a big a table. <laughs> it was yeah. amazing. Good. It was amazing. And Jim asked the lady, so I suppose if the third person comes, we could just have him stand there next to the table and talk to he us did standing. Say, Jimmy did say that. I'm roaring. I'm roaring. Because first of all, I know Quinn ain't showing up. Yeah. But Jimmy wanted a fucking table for Colin and his entire family. It was, and they gave it to, when he talked to the waiter who knew, like he had a, he had a thing. He he had a fucking uh, piece of it. He needed to give us a table to get a tip. Yep. Yeah. And that's what happened. Jim Norton, how much Chip might not like him, Knows how to work a fucking uh, restaurant. Oh, yeah, he said God. to the guy, Norton told me what happened. He said great. to the guy, he goes, yeah, we were going to look for a bigger table. He didn't yell at the guy. He goes, she didn't do it because she just didn't feel like it. She didn't feel like it. She just going, didn't feel she like just it. just didn't feel like it. And, and then the guy's Nor- like, if I don't feel like it, I'm not getting a tip. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Gotta make the it customer was brilliant. happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this whole I loved thing it. Is- made so much better by the fact that Colin didn't even come. He Through my come. utter embarrassment, I felt he was right. <laughs> it really, it really turns me on. It really gives me a, a, a Norton. That's what you I call You should it. show up next time, Carl. Jesus. No. A little espresso. When some, say, uh, what's a Norton? That's what I say when I say it gives me a Norton. It's just, it gives me a chubby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I yep. see what you went with That's there. a good one. He is a fucking, he's not <laughs> oh, even chubby. Oh. He's not even chubby. You know he feels big. No, he's a fat the piggy boy. <laughs> a fat the, the piggy, piggy boy. boy. A, a little Jim and Norton. He's a fat the piggy boy. A little boy. piggy boy. A fat the piggy boy. I love that song. Oh, he's it's a so fat the piggy Someone boy. Someone sent that to me today. Just some guy on Twitter going, a fat the piggy boy. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's Jimmy's song. Yeah, it's what he is. Believe oh, me, he went to the doctor it. today and got on the scale. Oh, he would have been happier to hear he was HIV positive. <laughs> was he taping my 600 pound life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking that that male model doctor now walked in. I tell you, <laughs> he's not the biggest looker, but my mother goes, God, Chipper, he gets me crazy down there. I'm like, Ma, that's grody. Oh. Brody. Why does your mom tell you this stuff, Chip? I don't know. She drinks a lot. She was holding a bottle of old granddad, and there was only two sips left. What and that doctor now granddad? comes in, and she holds it against her crotch real oh. tight. Oh. oh. Man, you need to now? lose the weight, but you don't seem committed. <laughs> what a bedside manner. Like, the mother's in there. She's a fat slob. The kids are with her. It's like, you're going to die right in front of your children tonight if you don't do it. Yeah. And, and, and they're all, like, crying, and he doesn't give a shit. He don't yeah. care. He knows how to handle them. He gives yes. him a colorful ball and he goes, balance this on your nose, you <laughs> fucking fat monster. <laughs> He's called him a whale. Care. Yeah, Aww. he gets him to lose. Yo, did you hear about that guy that got swallowed by a whale? And spit back out. Jonah? Yep. <laughs> no. There was a guy recently called. you hear about it? Yeah, they said everyone on social media was saying I looked like that guy. I didn't see really? him. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't know if I saw his face. He must have been oh, don't ugly. Don't try to think to oh. see him. Just sit there. 
fine. <laughs> Thinking stop. Well, that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> wow, those are great pants. Thank you. Oh, what like are that. those? These I are don't my know. Golf jammies? Pants. What are you wearing? Jammies? No, these are regular pants. I wear these outside. These are my golf ska oh, pants. It's a nice like, slack, Bay. Do people like toss more... you nickels and dimes when you wear those on the street? <laughs> they literally look like your granddad's pajamas. And by yeah, granddad, I mean me. No, it looks they like... really do look like old guy PJs. <laughs> <laughs> what was that called? I was going to say, it looks like Laura Petrie's pants. Laura oh. Petrie. She doesn't know who Laura is. Petrie is. No, nah, but she's got a nice dish. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck, I can't even. All right. Take it easy, guys. I'm I'm where's where's the leave? That's the one. Where's the leave? <laughs> Probably under the tree, it. if you want to know. You know, I'm just you. Oh. You know, I'm giving you a hard Whoa. time, you know. All right, I'll I'll give her a chance. Do you know who Laura Petrie is? I do not know. I'm gonna I'm on Google right now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Google it and say. Actually, she's kind of, she, especially then, kind of cute. Laura Did you Petrie. like Mary Tyler Moore, uh, Carl? Was she your yeah. type oh. back then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little thin. Dick Van Dyke show. Yeah, she Dick wore the, the Dyke. Yes. Those are the pants she always wore. It's yep. funny. The the second she did she wore those um. What were they called? Pants. Capris? Capri pants. pants. Thank you, Chip. Capri Asshole. pants. They were capris. I have a pair. The second, the second like search. like to see you in them, Chipper. Is, wait, Chip has capris? Yeah, I do. That's capris. They're bright yellow capris. <laughs> um, Pedal pushers. Yeah, they're really oh, comfy. And I got a nice pair of bright yellow flip flops. And I wear them with a fucking... <laughs> I got a really cool bright red shirt. It's a long sleeve college shirt. And I tuck it into my capris and I put my fucking hat on, ladies. Uh, I have, I have, uh, my dad took eight millimeter film of me. Was you a, in Dallas in Dealey Plaza? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was, it was me. I, I had to be like four years old and my uh, sister in a carriage and she had pedal pushes on and my dad a regular fucking uh coppola he's like go just guys yelling at her like walk walk with the carriage with my sister in it and i'm walking and she's got the pedal pushes on and it really mm -hmm. captures the uh the moment of the 60s it was uh <laughs> yeah it was amazing he, but he, he's yelling walk get the kid you Fucking, and then the C where, but you know, what you are you got the do? video? It was, it was the time. It was the time. It was you a have different the video? time, Chip. Different time. Yeah. Oh, I have the video. Of course I do. I, I want to that. see that. It's amazing. Me and Joe, we're dressed like we just came over to Ellis Island from Sicily. We got little hats on and suits. <laughs> like I'm five years old and I'm look like I'm making a fucking deal to, to murder somebody. You dress like, like Uncle Junior. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's, our pants kind of match. He's dressed like Frankie Five Angels' brother. When <laughs> yeah, when he, when he came up, hey, look, he's over there. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, could he could have his own family? He could have his own family. <laughs> Man, isn't he? I fucking I was in the fucking olive uh, oil and Popeye business. A, he had me waiting in the lobby. That's right. <laughs> Yo, did you ever see the part where he goes, make me make me an offer that I can refuse? Yeah. Do you have to fuck every goddamn thing up? Jesus fucking. No, that's really you have fucking to fuck cool. Every goddamn lineup. They threw the fucking the dead dog in the bed. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead dog. Yo, you know who that house belonged to? Boom. It's it's just up for sale, by the way. That's Beverly right. Hills. You know who used to own that house? Maury Amsterdam. No, the guy from The Godfather, they put the dog in his bed. Waltz? Yep, Jeff Waltz. He didn't own it. It was owned by, actually, it was he owned did own by it. the Hearst family. It's a Hearst family, the the publishing. Uh, Patty Hearst, you might remember. Sure, yeah. She was friends with Mrs. Cakes. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's 
This is no worse you than what Morton's been asshole. doing on stage. I fucking hate you for that. And I hate myself for even chuckling at it. Never mind laughing at it. No, Patty Hearst, uh, the Hearst family. Yeah. Yeah, the Symbionese Liberation Army. That's yes. right. She was with that. Child she got of the Freeze. Yes, yes. Exactly. Colin remembers. Me and yep. Col, we're the same age. We remember all the That's same right. fun we stuff. Watergate. The airport bombing. The airport bombing. The all the fun stuff that America used to be. Fuck MAGA. MAGA, Colin, right? All that, the great <laughs> That damn war that they lied to us about. The civil? No, the Vietnam. Oh, the Nam in country. That's remember right. Remember that call, me and you in country? I remember that shit. Sure. Oh, my God. In country. I'd love to grow one of those in my yard. All right. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm just fucking leaving. <laughs> I can't. Well, that was shitty. <laughs> That was a shitty way. That was shitty. <laughs> he just... The only word for that is shitty. It's nice language on the podcast. Yeah, it's a little Holy fuck, Colin. <laughs> Wait, look oh. how skinny fucking uh, fucking uh, Joe Gandolfini is behind you, bae. Yeah, look Dude. at that. Jim Gandolfini. Yeah, yeah, uh. he was... Uh... That has to be from maybe season, season three. Two. That would be season two. Oh, maybe yeah. it is. It's crazy how you don't notice it when you're watching through. But I look back on the first season. He just he really does look so much younger than well, the bang. first. The pilot was like very young and yeah. very. Uh, he was a, a slender guy. But then, <laughs> like every other scene was him going. <laughs> Dude. That is the what his food and breathing he's fat and it was terrible, right? His breathing in that show is the one thing. That's uh, all you hear. I liked it though. Oh man. It's like, defining. It, it showed authority. Is that what it showed? He was like telling his lungs to go fuck themselves. <laughs> he's like, I'll keep fucking eating. I'll yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I get it, pity. I'll be right back. Where you going? Uh -oh. You gonna go make uh -oh. a tinkle? Oh, what yeah, happened? What are we gonna do? Yeah. Go ahead, go pee, but oh, god damn oh it. And then Jimmy fucking, <laughs> or I mean, Chip goes into the, that square. Does he have to pee? I never understood though. Let me tell you something. You can go watch ahead. every goddamn fucking show I've ever done in my life. Yep. You'll never see me go take a piss. That's true. He just does I it right in his fucking, diapers. I just fucking piss right on the floor. That's right. Right yeah. on the floor. He <laughs> pisses on his own floor. I never understood that. I like to make coffee and get a little biscotti for the police. <laughs> Who's that behind? Wait, is Big Fat Janice in that one or no? Yeah, that's, that's Janice next to Uncle June, I think, right there. Oh, no, that's not season two yeah, then. Yeah. No. Yeah, Melfi. No. Dr. Moni. Yep. Yeah, some of the best. Oh, there's, there's fucking Sill and his wife. Janice. There's uh, yeah, Chris, Chris and, Chris, and uh, Adriana. Adriana. Mm -hmm. and Polly's got, back there. Oh my it's god. Polly, right? Fucking <laughs> oh, oh boy, Polly. did someone get mad at me? Hey T. Oh no. I'm leaving a fucking dime on the table here. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, hey T, what are you love, doing? Right, come Polly. on, Chip. Let's nice. rip Sopranos, Chip. Rip. Okay. Just anything. Let's see. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Tony goes into Satriali's. Yep. He's trying to, to Carl, see. We're riffing Sopranos, just so you know. <laughs> All right. Tony goes into Satriali's. He's got Finn with him. He yep. wants Finn to tell the rest of the guys that he saw Vito maybe acting a little gay with uh, another guy. Go. So tell everybody that you, how you seen Vito in, in the car with the man. That's pretty good. That is uh, kind of, it, it's not that bad. <laughs> so it was, uh, it, it was, correction. It was bad. But <laughs> 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 All right. Maybe I was wrong, Carl. You Maybe two, I misinterpreted. You and Z have built. What up, I saw. You and Z have built up a tolerance 
to this <laughs> abomination. Have we been on too much? <laughs> We've been on the show too much. We right. did. Oh <laughs> my God, you're right. God damn it. You're going to get whacked, Carl. Oh. Oh no. Oh, look you're, out. You're going to get whacked. Oh. We got Chippison Soprano in the house. You know who wants to be like Tony Soprano? Stupid Bob with his cigars, barking orders and whatnot and his underlings. Yeah, you know what? Oh, He's always trying to be fucking Tony Soprano. Oh. <laughs> he wants to take over the uh, statue on top of Satriales. <laughs> That's not very nice. It's it's not nice at all. Yes, it's not a compliment. <laughs> that's, 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 it's a pig. It's not very nice. I <laughs> know it's not very nice. I love you getting really Neither close. Is to the Bob? Camera. No, he's not. <laughs> hey, what's that picture behind you? Well, um, no, it's, Carl. Oh, oh. Colin. See, I did a chip. Colin. It. Is that Colin? Is that you? Yeah. Is that, oh, oh, nice. Colin. It looks like a, um, Oh, is that you for what's Colin? It does. It looks like a, uh, what is the artist that looks like that? Oh, fucking Van Gogh. Where's he going? Van, stop. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Fuck, Van Yield. Art riffing. Van Caution. Van Railroad Crossing. <laughs> fucking, fucking go. You go, go. Fuck yeah. You go, go. Mm. Instead of Van Gogh. That is good. What would make Van Gogh backwards, up? said Susan Smith. Is that <laughs> is that is that the only painting anyone's ever given you? So you decided to hang because yeah. that is not what is it? It's a painting of me at the club. This this girl, Crystal Lamb, that I've known since she was Eight years old, her grandmother took her to an MTV remote control taping. Crystal Lamb. Yep. Now he's going to make me years. feel bad about this whole thing. That it was a real sensitive fucking real thing. Ugh. You motherfucker. Now I feel like piece of shit. No, that's a perfect place for it to waste Which, height. Which, by the way, that's a great what I feel like it. anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But, oh, that's adorable then. Wait a minute. Why is it so low? Oh, is that regular height? What about you? You're so low you could you could crawl under a pregnant ant. Yeah, <laughs> you're so fucking low you could crawl under a pregnant snake. You're so low you could play handball oh. with the curve. You're you're so low that the fucking you could do jumping jacks under the curtains. Oh. You're so low. You're the only one. You're by yourself. Solo. Oh, solo. <laughs> yeah, what do you, oh, oh, wait, you're solo. Hand solo. I like that one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're solo. Oh, I'm your father. Yeah, I'm your but father. Hang. Wow. I tell you, Kyle, you've been watching uh, the Pluto. Pluto TV has Johnny Carson episodes like every night. Just and I sit there. He passed like, away like a mental patient just watching Johnny Carson. It wasn't very funny. May the sewers of Rangoon back up on your breakfast. <laughs> See, now that's funny. <laughs> uh, uh, a willy? <laughs> a five? And a bag of nickels. A willy of five and a bag and a of bag nickels. Of, huh? And then he looks at him like, why would you repeat What's it? a high, a fly, and a my? Dude, it's a... A coot and a fruit. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> How about a fucking... A simp and a blimp. Hey, both of them are Norton. <laughs> so mean. True. I saw I, I saw an episode earlier with Christopher Reeve on it, right? From 1988. Wow. And he comes out. He was out Soap Man. And, he was still and, walking. Yeah. And then he goes, uh, Johnny Carson goes, so, because uh, he's talking about like he's famous, so it's got to be hard to soap to man. be out in public. He goes, so how hard is it to get around these days? I'm like, oh, boy. 
Well, I bro- blow into the straw. And Did he I already have forward. his accident? <laughs> No, oh. of course not. Oh. He was just a, you know. He was soup a man. Guy. He's still he Superman. Soup I'll take man? the man. What about salad man? Okay. Ah, <laughs> fuck yeah. No, he was soup man. No, it was terrible. He was roommates with Robin Williams. Yup. Was he? Oh, shit. At was Juilliard. It? At Juilliard. At Juilliard? Yup. Huh. I was going to go there for acting. they were acting. both gay. You I got to say. I think, you know, for some reason, but Christopher Reeve's wife hung in there the whole time when, when he was uh, disabled, which is very noble. Uh, and I think he was gay, but then she, he dies, and she dies like no time later. Why do you think he was gay? The outfit was for the movie. He didn't dress like that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think, yeah, he was too artsy and... Uh, when know. I, uh, speaking of too artsy, yeah. when I was at Stony Brook, I said, you know what? I'm going to go to Juilliard for acting. And yep. I paid a $50 fee. <laughs> 50 they set up an audition. I went into Juilliard acting school the night before I, re- I, you know, I was out partying every night in Long Island. Sure. So I had to. I had to make sure I took speed, a lot of speed. And I was still drunk next morning. I had the audition like 8 a.m. in the city, boiling hot day. I felt like, I looked uh, disgusting. And I walk in, it was like, you ever see in Flash Dance where they have the four people sitting on the- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The big did, you, did you do the dance? <laughs> well, basically, I memorized this monologue, but I didn't, couldn't remember it. So I said, I don't understand real actors. They're like, they do something unpredictable. So yeah. I sat on the table and I start going, yeah, like roaring on the table. Oh no. And it was the most awkward thing. And they all just Oh my God, I would have loved to have seen this. Ew. Oh. You thought you <laughs> were having a real happen, acting though? moment? But Colin's right. Like you hear all these stories where it's like, oh, I went into an audition oh. and I fucking, what happened? I wasn't right. He wasn't. <laughs> it was spontaneous thing. It's not like I just, it was like, I was like, I'm going to jump on the table and show these people I'm a dramatic guy. So if you do it as part of your organic moment, but this is me standing there bombing and then going. Oh, and then you realize you might as well just go table. for broke. Yeah, it wasn't like I walk over to the table and jump up, ah, I start yelling. And then. Uh. Oh, but dude, Carl, I, don't you, don't you, you hear from these uh, uh, auditions that people go, I just went in there and I told the director, and I saw them all, and it was like, how about you go fuck yourself, fuck, and they're like, you're yep. just the guy we need. It's yeah. like, how does that never work for anyone else? Because yeah. it doesn't work for anyone <laughs> except that one guy. Yes. <laughs> it has to be, ba- like they're basing it on acting techniques where they're yeah. like, yeah. The moment, and then everybody's like, that made sense in that moment. I had no skill. <laughs> <laughs> I was just an asshole. Yep. In a fucking yep. I jacket. would die yeah. to see this. <laughs> Marlboro smoke and alcohol. Oh, God. Pour. I was on five hits of speed because I was trying to stay up all night. <laughs> <laughs> so skinny. Beating. I would have loved to hang, hung out with that, Colin. <laughs> I was like a... Sp- <laughs> Standing there. Uh, Did you get in? <laughs> Did you make it right? What was the oh, part? Colin, just recently I saw the episode you were on of the Larry Sanders show. I oh. <laughs> that was a great episode. You were such an asshole in it. <laughs> what everything, you play? Colin, everything Colin's in is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Every fucking thing. I it's love it. Oh, so good. And, and sometimes you're just flicking around the dial. It's like. Oh fuck! It's Colin, and I gotta fucking watch it. It's you ever great. See remote I jack control? it to it. I'm like, oh, Carl. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm like, I can't believe it's Carl. It's awesome. <laughs> I have seen a remote control, actually. Yeah. 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 Oh, you have. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how old were you when that first came out? Oh, I don't. I don't think that I was born yet. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't think I was. Born. 
Yeah, you weren't even fucking born. Yet. You were just a young yeah, little tell sprout. Me, tell me about how you weren't fucking even. Born you were yet. just a little sprout. We're getting a little glimpse into Ant's <laughs> sex life right oh, there. Fuck you. Yeah. You were just a little sprout. A little sprout. A little bean sprout. Yeah, I did something like that, Carl, where I fucking went in for an audition, and I fucking I wanted to show them it was for, to play like a fucking uh, an angry guy. And I took the script and I threw it on the floor. Oh. I said, who needs this? And there was a cup of coffee and I slapped it. Oh and I said, I'm mad. God. I said, you said the, you're mad. Oh, you had to tell them you were mad. I'm mad. And when I hit it, I didn't realize it was still piping hot. And I got scalding coffee all over the casting director's neck. Oh, no. She filed the lawsuit. <laughs> So you didn't get the part? At least no, I, I remember didn't. your name. Yeah, I'm mad. Fucking burn my finger. I uh, almost counter suit her. If you, you didn't say I'm mad, maybe they would have realized like, wow, he's playing mad. Yep. You oh. should have uh, you should have sent him an email after you got the, the suit and said, you know, I hope you think <laughs> of me for future projects. Yeah. <laughs> if you need someone to whack some hot coffee into the steps. Yeah. I fucking kid. you should have seen it, though. I wish I, I yeah Juilliard you got to be a good actor to be in there yeah I was a pretty bad actor you know oh yeah what's your favorite acting to do now my favorite one to do now yeah like as it's later in life what do you like to do acting wise oh I mean um you know I <laughs> <laughs> I like to do you know Experimental theater, basically. Yeah, yeah, hey, oh, it's easy, wow. easy stuff. That's, Kyle, that's dangerous. Like, yeah. people don't really know where you're going, and you're taking yeah. chances with your career when yeah. you're. Ooh, yeah, so dangerous. What's yeah. an experimental theater thing you've done? I've probably heard of it. Um, this what we're doing right now. That's right. <laughs> this is alive. It's alive. It's dangerous. <laughs> it could ruin your career. No, but you know what it is. It's one of them things, right? <laughs> where yeah yeah there's a lot of spontaneity and there's a lot sure. of like life sure. lessons and there's a lot of things that everybody learns about each other i must have, i must have missed the life lessons but there's a lot of spontaneity That's okay right. here's a life lesson whenever you're acting or i i always no matter what scene i'm doing i find the reason to pound the table yeah that's okay. yeah that's that's drama right there i play a good a cop guy. what do you do you go Damn you or something, right? Yeah, I fucking no chip, pound the table. You would pay the, the bad cop. That's right. I oh, am the bad, the bad cop. I'm writing a play about how they take my gun and my badge, and I'm fucking going to go out and solve the crime. Because oh. the guy goes, Chipperson, you've done it again. Give me your gun and your badge. Chipperson, you've done it again. What, <laughs> an, what a, what what a the, unique... Uh, idea yup takes my gun and my badge so and, and then can i can i give you an idea after that happens yep maybe you still pursue the case and you solve it and get your gun and badge back well here's what yes. happens i pursued a case right and as i'm about to solve it i look right into the camera and i go not sure what's gonna happen next and then the credits roll and set you up for part two <laughs> Who's, oh my God, that stinks. That's you a good idea. You can't do that. You need to get some resolution at the end of the first one. And if you want to do a sequel, at least have a little something, but not the main plot of the first one. No, I disagree. You got to solve that one. Chip. Call, back me up. Call. All right, well, call, back him up. Call, call him up. Call him I don't get have it. A cathartic moment in that show. What do you mean, call? I think the bad guys, quote unquote, should somehow capture Chip. And before he's rescued, they should uh, skin him alive. Oh, I like this. No. But I did wow. one time, I did write in a beat down scene because, like, I, you, you gotta, like, put me up against the wall. Like, right? Act one is the fucking whatever. Act uh -huh. two, they're up the tree. Act three, get him down a tree. So the fucking bad guy's kidnapped me, but I left my gum on the, my fucking, uh, my gun on the fucking, uh, 
the little tray of the ice cream truck. I'm in there buying a fucking rocket, and I fucking left my gun on the tray. And then the band. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have my gun. It's so fucking stupid. No, because then they start that beating this me. This idiot can't even get through it. Yeah. What the fuck, Chip? Help me out. Tell sure. me this, we're hey, all willing hey, to hey. listen. Oh. We're all willing to listen. What's the fucking story? Okay. I'm a fucking police officer, right? I'm fucking rising up through the ranks. Ripping and I'm off like, fucking Colin, by the way. Solving cases and all that. I'm two weeks into the job. And they're like, Chipperson, we got you earmarked for big things. And then the fucking case goes wrong because I'm working on a kidnapping. And I fucking... I make a mistake and the girl drowns. So then all of a sudden I'm in trouble and they're like, give me your gun and give me your badge. And I'm like, okay, but I got a fake gun that I keep and I fucking left it on a thing of the ice cream all right. truck. I was thinking this was like something I've seen before. I've never seen the cop give a fake gun when he's asked to give his gun and badge. So you give a fake gun. And they can't tell. No, 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 not at all. Lieutenant, no, but what happens is captain, he can't tell. Dude, this is fucking crazy. Right? I love this. By they're the beating way. me with a fucking, they're beating me with spoons and with a fucking frying pan trying to get the secrets. And then all of a sudden the opening credits start. Don't it's steal this crazy. Colin, for your fucking cop show thing. Yeah, don't take it, Carl. This hey, why are you doing cop brilliant. show again? Cold. That's a great question. Could I be it honest? Is. <laughs> That's oh. a great question. No answer. You ought to have me on. I'd be so good. He would. He would. He'd bring a certain death. By the way, I'll put you on the spot right now. I play a great criminal. Yeah. Just saying. Play? Just saying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys, I love it, Zia. <laughs> Zia just, I think Zia just gave me a fucking jab. I think she just shit on What'd me. What'd she say? Oh, one. <laughs> Did play a criminal? Yeah. I was just, oh. Jim, I was just implying that he was a criminal. Oh, God damn it. I got something him. orange <laughs> on my thumb. What oh, is my shit. thumb? What is, what that? is that? Oh, shit. Is that is a cheese doodle? Is that a cheese doodle? A cheeto? No, it it's a, like that. Ah, shit. Is that it's a the bottom of a hard drive. I can't. Ah, shit. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know what he's doing here. <laughs> Uh, it's beyond me now. We're just about done. This is a very late evening. <laughs> what is it? 3 a.m. at this point? Yeah. This is a uh, late one. It does feel we like all it. we all had to get in late because Colin, of course, can't be bothered early enough. He's got so he much. He's doing comedy. Do. I was doing comedy. Was doing Where comedy, were you, yeah. Carl? Zella. Oh, Who did you go on after? The comedy seller? I went on after. I love that. The seller. Oh, comedy? The Peter. <laughs> I went on after Jackie Fabulous, the second show, and Jim Norton, the first show. Oh, oh you followed God. fucking. Goodness. Oh, fucking Blimpy Mick put all the fat tits weight back on. Oh, good my for him. God, you did not. Uh, he did not. Just, no, he, he did. did it. I, I will not it. sit here. And listen to you, Chip. I love you, Chip. If you know this. Boys. I will not fucking listen to you to shit talk, Jim Norton, my That's good friend. That's right, because I won't sit here and do that. I don't think Chip really understands he did, what a fat fuck Norton really was. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. God, Colin. He was a fat pig. My good friend, Jim Norton, doesn't deserve this shit. No. I'm the likes of you, motherfucker. He didn't Jim look bad. No. What a truly fat hog Jim used to be. <laughs> used to be. And 25 pounds is nothing. This is my good friend. I you know, know how Jim knew he was getting. And when I see pictures of old Jim Norton pictures, I see he was very, let's just say, yeah. Yeah, healthy yeah. in a 1950 way. Yeah. He should have been killed on a boat at the end of season two. <laughs> Fucking oh! Oh my god. The oh boy. my god. A fat the piggy boy. Oh my boy. god, I can't. Was a the piggy boy. No. I love Jim Norton. Don't yeah. you ever talk bad of don't talk ill of my good friend. Oh, hey, what Jim are you eating? Your finger? <laughs> what are you having? A fucking finger snack? I got him again. All right, listen. 
Now, Carl, what are you promoting? You got like dates and stuff, Carl? Yes, you got some. Whoa, Jesus. Um, yeah, I'm, when's this coming out? What's that? This is going to be out on P- Patreon uh, in two days and then another week on uh, YouTube. Then I'm not promoting anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Carl's working tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. You you want to promote this on. weekend? Yeah, I'm at the cellar. Okay, well, you can always go catch cellar. Carl down at the Carl cellar. Quinn. I'll be there with Jim Norton. Oh, that's Ooh. great. Yeah, go see fucking, go see Colin and uh, watch Jim struggle. And uh, oh, Aunt, what are you promoting? Uh, comedians of the Compound. We are doing dates in Cleveland, Vegas, Texas, Philly, uh, Boston. Go to uh, comediansofthecompound.com. We're That's doing chill. all these great shows. I've uh, finally decided to get myself on stage and bomb horribly. It's my dream come true. Uh, so come and see us. Anthony's been doing comedy. I'm I'm doing a little comedy now, stand up. It's fun. It's yeah. really fun when everyone in the place knows you and loves you and you can't fail. <laughs> <laughs> and found the cheat codes <laughs> i did find the cheat codes thank you Zia. now bay what do you promote on bay uh check out my twitch channel twitch.tv slash zealand my snack stream is probably my favorite that's sundays what do you got Eastern. multiple sclerosis oh. oh wait oh yeah what do you um <laughs> the twitch channel what do you uh go chip a, a central riff, nervous system riff, issue chip. <laughs> yeah <laughs> fucking chip i can't even i don't I do. gotta tell him he knows i just said it but he i didn't he didn't need me he knows I, when to roll when i to do roll. start twitching when i eat a lot of sugar so there is that Careful, <laughs> yeah. my mother's lost toes oh uh. the beatus she got yeah. the beatus yeah she sure <laughs> did we misbehaved oh. all right listen all kidding <laughs> nice. aside uh, what are you promoting, love? And uh, so twitch.tv slash zealand, onlyfans.com slash zealand. There's been some really fun content there lately. Fun and, uh, content. It's fun content. I like it. Aunt, you're just the best. <laughs> Fucking awesome. I got it. the tell best. <laughs> All right, listen. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being. We got a countdown, of course. Carl, pick a number. One, please, one. <laughs> Um, 11. Okay, good number. Oh, 11, 10, 10 9, 9, 8, eight 7 Chippersons, 6, six Chippersons, 5 Collins, 4 Collins, 3 Antonies, 2 Antonies, 1 Zia. Love you, Carl. Chippy Kaye for the mother. All right, listen, Carl and Zia, everybody have the finest evening that you can have. I love you, Chip. Chip. All right, love y'all too. Peace, y'all. Hey, 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 what's up, party people? Let's go!